if you've ever been on this channel before, you might have seen one video or another uh, of 3D printed pieces made specifically for Citroen C5X7s. The most successful one, without a shadow of a doubt, is a cup holder for Citroen C5X7s without hydro pneumatic suspension. It goes down here in the middle where, where Citroens with hydro pneumatic suspension have the controls and the electronic handbrake. Uh, but apart from that, you know, it hasn't been really sort of much success. I made this universal cup holder that goes there. You know, you could put a, a, a cup of coffee or a small bottle of water or a can there and it will hold it. But that's seen limited success. In fact, I would say no success at all. No one's really been interested in this. But they've worked. That's the thing. They function. I can put a bottle or a whatever, a small bottle, as I said, or a cup there and it won't fall. Uh, but it's not always the case with some of my creations. Some of them have been misfires, they've been duds. And I thought I'd share some with you now, because uh, if I do put that out there, maybe I can get some feedback on how to improve them, or if there's a, any interest at all. Because that makes all the difference, if there's interest. So first off, there's that, uh, where is it gone? Oh, here we are. It's a holder for putting, like, your phone on the dashboard. I think I've already done, I did one, sorry, I did one, but it's for cars that do not have the sat-nav screen. They have a cubby here where you can uh, perch that sat-nav holder. And I did another version that sort of like makes use of this gap that all C5s have. And so the idea is you put your phone here, like so. I should have something to demonstrate, but I don't. That's how poorly prepared I am for these videos. But you can put it there and it's sort of like an emergency thing. The idea is, you know, you can put it anywhere because it's so small when it's folded up. But it works. That's the thing. It works. It functions to a certain extent. If you put a phone here and then take a very hard left or right, this can fly out. So, yeah, you can imagine. Maybe, you know, don't have something that is so potentially dangerous. Imagine if you are driving along, it does fly out, goes into the driver footwell. That could be really tricky. So, yeah, uh, you know, I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to divulge it and cause people issues. And then you've got this here. Oh, let me show you. So for quite some time, I've been a bit frustrated by the fact that I have nowhere to put my mobile phone, my smartphone. This is too small here. The other car had a cubby here, as I've, uh, I think I've already mentioned. Uh, this is too small. This center armrest it won't fit here. Down here, that's not very practical because then I can't look at it. So I made this tray. So the thing is, this tray has got like a place where you can put it and it's got this slot, this sort of scallop, where you can perch the phone like so. It will rest against the radio and it can be an impromptu sat-nav holder. Thing is though, if I do to another, like the other, the other solutions, if I take a hard left or right, this will fly out. And there's this. See this? This thing here? You're thinking, oh, that's double-sided sticky tape. No, that's failure. Failure! Because it will only stay in place with double-sided sticky tape. I did my best to make like a structure where I could put it down here and you wouldn't need any kind of sticky tape or anything, but that didn't work. And then I thought, maybe I can make it a cup holder, but then it will cover the radio. And it, I don't think it's strong enough for that. So I, d I don't know what to do with this. I don't know, should I persevere or should I just give up? I just don't know. Oh, well, I don't know. But then there's this other thing here. Can you see that? That's a bottle holder. Now, I've already addressed the cup holder issue many a times, as I think I've already mentioned in this video, but there was no place to put a bottle. Now, I'm old. I need to drink a lot. And so I made this. Let me take out the bottle. Oh, by the way, this is a one litre bottle. Before I take it out, let me show you one problem. If you're driving along, you will hit it. So imagine if it's a one and a half litre bottle, it'll be a lot taller and it will get in the way even more. So that's not a good thing. And then there's the issue of opening the door. Now, if I open it nice and wide, that's no problem. See that? Whoops, I kicked it. You will inevitably kick it. Okay, that's a given. But, you know, maybe if you're careful, if you get used to it, you might avoid kicking it. But in my garage, I can only open it about this far because my wife has to park her car right up next to mine. So I thought, hang on a sec, I'll make it removable. And make it removable I did. Let me just demonstrate. There you see, comes out, goes in like a dream. Thing is, where can I put it? I mean, it won't fit anywhere. 
Maybe it'll fit in the center armrest, but it's full of rubbish. So, so yeah, that's not going to work, is it? So maybe this is something I could keep in the boots, unless it's a long trip. If it's a long trip, I don't think this this will get in the way. I can just ignore it, and it will come in useful. But for everyday use, mm, I don't see it. I don't see it. And there's also another problem. I sit where I sit. Okay, so I sit this far back or far forward, or whichever way you want to look at it. But if someone sits further forward, then the seat is going to hit it because this can't go any further forward. This is as far forward as it will go within the pocket. The side door bin, I should say. So how do you fix that? I don't know. So my lovely viewers, what should I do? Do you think any of these ideas are worth persevering? Do you have any ideas of your own? I don't know. Anything. Comment below. I really would like to know. And thank you very much for watching if you made it this far. Consider subscribing if you haven't. And leave a like. And I hope to see you in a future video. I bid you farewell.